Hello everyone and welcome to the NewTek TriCaster TC1 Get Started Training. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the live production switcher. So let's take a look at how to switch between our sources. There's a few ways to do this. One is you can use your mouse to simply click between the different inputs you want to take live. Or you can also select your video signals by using the control panel. Now another method to switch your sources is to use the preview method. So what you would do is line up your shot on your preview row and you can select to that source using either the take or auto function or use the t-bar on your interface or control surface. Now this is just doing a simple uh, take method or fade between your different sources but we also have a variety of different transitions to choose from. You can choose these transitions in the transition selection window here and we have nine different ones to choose from uh, the fly but you can also go through and select from the multitude of different transitions available to you. So let's grab this flash right here and so what I'm going to do is transition between her and the Jeep by hitting my auto transition and there we go. Now you can also use full motion transitions as well. So I'll go ahead and select underneath my animation stores and select finance and we'll click auto and make it rain. Now you can also make your own transitions using the included animation store creator software. Now in the bottom right corner of our screen, we have our four independent downstream keyers, or DSKs. DSKs allow you to assign either graphics or different video sources to layer on top of your video source. So I'm going to go ahead and assign DSK1 to our graphics1, and I'll go ahead and take that live and take that off. Now you can also bring in your DSKs with the same transitions that are available on your program and preview rows. You can also use DSKs to bring in animated buffers for example. Now we also have independent positioning tools for each downstream keyer so that you can position your graphics or video overlays wherever you want them to be. Now, you can also have all of these brought on at the same time using our delegation rows. So on your control panel, you can do this by simply holding down all of the DSKs that you want to bring live. So I'm going to go ahead and select one, two, three, and four all at the same time. And we'll take those live with just a touch of a button. Or I can also hit auto to bring those on or use the T-bar. Now there's another way to delegate your downstream keyers using the keyboard and mouse. How we do that is we'll select the DSKs that we want to bring to our program row. We'll select the first one, hold down shift, and then select each of the other downstream keyers that we want to bring to our program row. Now keep in mind that in the preview window here, this shows what we're going to be taking on screen whenever we do our transition or cut. So this is what we call a look ahead preview. So now I can just simply hit take and that will bring all of those sources live or I can hit auto and each one of the transitions I have assigned to my DSKs will fire off independently. And will fire out the same way. Now a new way to switch your show is using express mode. You'll notice that at the bottom of our screen here we only have the program row. So now we can just do our simple switches from here or we can use cuts and fades just by clicking these buttons. Downstream keyers work the exact same way. Now you can also, instead of using your program row here, you can simply select the inputs individually by clicking on those inputs to make your transitions or cuts. Now with this method, you can now switch your show using a touchscreen monitor. Now that I've shown you the basic switching operation on the TriCaster TC1, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to use your internal media players.